All right, highlight to end the week. Iceberg at the top. What does it tell us? At the bottom, what does it tell you? Well, it tells you that there could be a top and a bottom. So a couple of things that we know, if you guys remember, coming in to this area, it's potential resistance. But how do you qualify it? Anybody who's traded any more than five minutes or five years knows that you can't lay an offer, should know you can't lay an offer in resistance to get short or bid in support to get long. In the beginning, people try that. And when they, when they see that that doesn't work to try to buy support, sell resistance, they think they need better support resistance, right? And it's just then they think they have to risk more. No, it comes down to having a skill to qualify support resistance. That's what's important. And to know what to do when you're wrong, to know when to disqualify support resistance so you don't always have to get run over like you're on the railroad tracks. So anyhow, up in here, it rallies. A couple things happen. You see a green dash. That represents a green buy iceberg. That just means someone had to buy more than meets the eye, usually a decent size order. Then there was a purple box. You could see that down in here. That means there was a big order of 100 or more that came in and lifted an offer to an aggressive buy order. Both of them, well, first, the aggressive buy order is going to get filled right away, and the iceberg doesn't always have to get filled right away, but it did. So when a buy iceberg gets filled right away, there's an appetite for selling. That's what you want to see if you want to get short. That's what you want to see if you're going to see downside, an appetite for selling, right? What at that, where and, and most close to the top, can you pick that off? It's not just recognizing the iceberg, which is an advantage. It's knowing what to do with it, how the market reacts and what questions that those create. I've always said, it ain't about the right answer. It's about the right question. So the iceberg comes in, gets filled right away. The big buyer obviously couldn't get the market to stay up and it went down pretty quickly. That's real-time analysis. When you can make those um, probability predictions at this moment, not at this moment, and that's too late. Real quick, there's another thing you know before you see this market action. You know the market just rallied a little bit. So know where you're at on the map. Know if the market just rallied or just broke. So you can see another thing we know. Look up here. The market sells off. We know that. We know here at the bottom, once a red iceberg comes in, which is a seller who's got more than meets the eye, usually a pretty decent order of 100 or more. And, a, and a, I don't know if a big seller also came in. He did. Right in here, you could see it. So you get a big seller, just the exact opposite of what happened here happens right here. And remember, this lower chart is just magnifying this upper chart. It called the bottom for a few points. Now, not forever, but you're not looking for bottoms and tops forever. You got to find temporary tops and bottoms. And so that was a great, if you're short, cover it. If you're bullish, take a shot. Because all you're looking for in developing and sharpening your skills are head starts. If you think the only trades you're going to make are buying lows here and it goes up forever, I got news for you. It ain't going to happen. You're looking for head starts where you could start operating from a position of strength because you got money on the table. All right. Having trades go your way ASAP. So you've seen it on the upside, big buyer, iceberg, big aggressive buyer, appetite for selling, big seller, iceberg seller, appetite for buying. One kicked it lower, one kicked it higher. This isn't something we review. This is something we preview and analyze as damn thing is happening. That's really important. We're almost to a thousand here on YouTube. Subscribe, hit the notification button. We're almost there. Either way, have a safe rest of the session and weekend.